I welcome you all to this short video explaining microscopic structure of kidney with functional correlation. The kidneys are a pair of organs located towards the posterior abdominal wall region. The major functions of the kidneys are formation of the urine and hence excretes the metabolites. And the kidneys got endocrine functions also. For an example, secretion of the hormone called as renin which regulates the blood pressure and also another hormone called as erythropoietin which is responsible for the process of erythropoiesis. Kidney got an outer thin connective tissue capsule or fibrous capsule which covers the entire kidney. Concave medial border shows the hilum of the kidney through which the structures are passing to and from the kidney. Hilum leads to a space called as renal sinus and further to the renal pelvis. Kidney shows an outer part called as cortex and inner to the cortex there is medulla. The medulla of the kidney consists of triangular area called as renal pyramids. Each pyramid shows a base and an apex. Base is directed towards the cortex and the apex is directed towards the renal pelvis. Thin projections from the base of the pyramids towards the cortex is called as medullary rays. Now let us see what actually the cortex is. The cortex is the part outer to the level of base of pyramids. The part of the cortex projecting between two adjacent pyramids are called as renal columns. Before going to the histological features of the kidney, we are supposed to learn in detail about the structure of nephrons. Nephrons are considered as the structural and functional unit of the kidney and each kidney shows about 1 to 4 million number of nephrons. Each nephron consists of renal corpuscle, proximal convoluted tubule, loop of Henle and distal convoluted tubule. Each part of nephron shows different cellular architecture. Rounded and expanded end of the nephron forms the renal corpuscles, which consist of two parts. Number 1. Glomerulus Number 2. Bowman's capsule Bowman's capsule shows an outer parietal epithelium and an inner visceral epithelium. The space between these two layers uh, is called as Bowman's space. The tuft of capillaries which fit into the cup-shaped Bowman's capsule is called as glomerulus. The blood to be filtered will enter to the glomerulus through afferent arterio. After filtration in the glomerulus, this blood will pass through the afferent arterio. Next part of the nephron is proximal convoluted tubule. The Bowman's capsule will continue as highly tortuous tubular passage. This is called as PCT or proximal convoluted tubule. This proximal convoluted tubule passes through the medullary rays and continues as thick descending segment of loop of Henle. The loop of Henle is the part of the nephron which shows thick descending segment, thin descending segment, a hairpin loop, then thin and thick ascending segments. Thick ascending segments continuous as distal convoluted tubule. The distal convoluted tubule is the continuation of the thick ascending segment of the loop of Henle. This will come very close to the vascular pole of the renal corpuscle. And this opens to the collecting tubules and the collecting tubules joins together to form the collecting ducts. Collecting ducts passes from the medullary rays to the apex of pyramids. Cellular architecture of each part of kidney is different. Each part of the nephron shows different lining epithelium. First let us learn the histological features of renal corpuscle. The Bowman's capsule that the outer parietal layer of the Bowman's capsule is lined by a simple squamous epithelium and the inner visceral layer shows a specific type of cells called as podocytes. 
In between these two layers, there is Bowman space to which the filtrate will be entering. The podocyte shows food processes or pedicles. The food processes of nearby podocytes are separated by a narrow space called as filtration slits. This part shows a thin membrane called as filtration slit membrane. Normally, albumin and large molecules from the blood cannot pass through these filtration slit membranes. This is an HNE strained picture of the renal cortex showing several renal corpuscles. What you see here, these are all renal corpuscles. Next is proximal convoluted tubule. So this proximal convoluted tubule is seen mostly in the cortex and these proximal convoluted tubules are lined by simple cuboidal cells which shows tall microvilli in their apex. This tall microvilli provides a brush bordered appearance. The lumen will be very narrow and their nuclei are rounded and centrally placed. The cytoplasm will be darkly stained with eosin and diameter of this proximal convoluted tubule will be ab about 60 micrometer. The thick descending segment of loop of Henle shows similarity with the histological features of proximal convoluted tubule that already we have explained just earlier. But the thin segments of loop of Henle that is lined by simple squamous epithelium and its diameter will be around 15 micrometer. The cytoplasm will show pale stained with eosin and the thick ascending segment of the loop of Henle shows histological features of distal convoluted tubule which we are going to explain shortly. Next is distal convoluted tubule or DCT. The diameter will be about 20 to 30 micrometer and these tubules are lined by simple cuboidal cells but these are different from that of proximal convoluted tubule. The cytoplasm is tightly stained with eosin. The brush bordered appearance may not be seen because no microvilli. The cells are comparatively shorter than proximal convoluted tubule, that's why there will be large lumen. The collecting tubules and collecting ducts shows the cuboidal cells, simple cuboidal cells and no brush bordered appearance will be seen like proximal convoluted tubules. The cells are deeply stained. So in this picture, we can appreciate the renal corpuscles with Bowman's space and also proximal convoluted tubules, distal convoluted tubules and the thin segments of the loop of Henle and collecting ducts. This is the picture to show you the renal medulla. Here renal corpuscles are not seen, renal corpuscles are not present. And additionally we can see more collecting ducts can be seen and also the thick segments of the loop of Henle. Thank you for watching this short video of histology of kidney.